Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So here we'll see how to connect our Flutter application, this one with MongoDB, and also we'll see how to get the connection string. All right, to connect it, first make sure that you have an account with your MongoDB um, server over here. So I'm gonna log in within my Google. So after logging in, it's gonna take you a page like this, and then let's go ahead and create new project. So we're going to create a new project over here. We can say, you can give it any name for Mongo DB. and we're gonna create next over here and then keep everything as it is and create a project all right so after that make sure you have the correct project name over here and let's go ahead and deploy a database so we are going to choose the free service and then over here as a provider will create uh, you will keep Amazon and create one so over here it would want your some of the credentials now over here it needs a username and database password for now I'm gonna keep everything very simple but in production you might want to do it much better so here I'm going to say create user and then I'm going to create this or select this cloud environment and we're gonna set up IP address over here so using 000 creates more universal anyone would be able to access using their app from the back end uh, with this if they have the connection string of course now over here uh, just write a basic description and then add entry and uh, after that over here finish and close so you're gonna click on this go to overview all right so he's gonna do some work in the background and uh, we can click on this connect button and we are going to select mongodb for vs code and then we are going to copy it and then now we're gonna open up our VS Code over here. Now, of course, here my project e-commerce a backend. Now I do already have one. I'm going to actually remove part of it. I'm gonna put it like this, and yeah, just like this. Now, if you wanna take a better view of this, so these are some uh, permissions over here. Rewrite through majority. Uh, we didn't assign any value w majority and most important part is this one this is the one that actually we copied and for most people without this is gonna work now here we need to change this one to our password remember earlier we did flutter so we're going to assign flutter over here so this is the database name or and this is the database password okay so let's go ahead and save it all right, so I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to do a clear over here, then gonna run npm start and we'll see that it has started our server on 3000 port. Now we're gonna go back to our Flutter app over here, make sure that your app has the base URL as this and rest of the things depends on you. You may, may have this, you may not have this. But anyway, so we're gonna click start our app so actually it's starting our app now let's wait and then we are over here so this is our app anyway this app is our riverport clean architecture app so if you want to know more about it you can check out it from the link below thank you